1991, the U.S. dropped a bomb so powerful, the first test buried it more than 100 feet underground, and they never dug it up. In February 1991, during the first Gulf War, American planners faced a problem. Iraq had command bunkers buried deep beneath Baghdad, too tough for standard bombs. So U.S. engineers built a new weapon in just 28 days. They took 8-inch artillery gun barrels from old howitzers, machined them into casings, welded on fins, and filled them with explosives, creating a 5,000-pound bunker buster. On February 24, 1991, an F-111 fighter jet dropped it at the Tonopah Test Range in Nevada. The weapon punched through at least 50 meters of earth, more than 100 feet below the surface, before detonating. That incredible penetration came not from magic, but from mass, velocity, and hardened steel, a design meant to break the ground rather than simply explode above it. Three days later it was in combat, destroying a hardened Iraqi command bunker near Taji that had survived previous strikes. Despite its nickname and raw power, this bomb was never the start of a new class of superguns. Conventional limits of physics mean even deeper underground targets still require different approaches, or nuclear options that world powers long feared to use. One shot, one impact. But a reminder that sometimes the biggest battlefield challenge isn't the enemy, it's the ground itself.